Hi everyone, I'm James and welcome to the world's deepest bunker. Now, so many people in this bunker would make the grave mistake of using far too much loft all of the time. In this video, I'm going to help you get good at getting out of these bunkers and you don't even need to use a lob wedge so far. So guys, when you're in one of these bunkers, yes, there's a horrible big lip in front of you, but I've got a 50 degree wedge here. If I open this face up, there's still plenty of loft on there to get out of this bunker, but it's still strong enough to get to that back flag. So if I open that face up a little bit more, that is going to activate the bounce even better. So I'm going to open the stance up, lower myself into the sand and also lower my hands. That means that the loft that I've opened is now going to point at my target. So if I now take a nice long swing, you can see there we have gone all the way to that back flag. Loads of spin on that ball because it's out of the bunker and we haven't gone anywhere near the lip. Now, as soon as we start to go a little bit further into the bunker, you'll see here that the lip is a little bit closer. This is where people might start to get scared. This is where you might start to get worried. Do not fear, do not get scared. Stick to the basics of getting good at getting out of the bunkers. Guys, also, if you're new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. It is totally free and we aim to help you get better at golf just one day at a time. So 56 degree, exactly the same. The key here is I have the ball forward in the stands, which you'll see there. And again, face wide open, handle lower. So again, the face plane tilt of that loft is pointing at my target. A nice long swing here, because one of the big things I see that people do wrong out of bunkers, especially from this distance with a lip like this, is they do not hit the ball hard enough. They don't have enough club edge speed to hit just behind the ball here. So ball forward, activate the bounce by opening the face, lower the hands, a nice long swing and again you'll see there that should be absolutely perfect maybe a touch long as it spun back maybe a touch long because i didn't quite get enough sand but that is definitely the lesser of the two evils there getting out the bunker and still leaving myself with a putt now as soon as we get closer to this lip this is where you really might start to struggle you might think you know what i might play out sideways i can't because the lips there i might play out this way that's well away from the flag and it's a little bit dangerous over there. I might play out backwards, but then I've still got to come over this bunker. The thing you need to do here is use as much loft as you've got. Here I've got a 60 degree wedge, which Chris doesn't carry, but if you do carry one, this is your prime place to use it. And the objective here isn't to get it all the way back to the flag. You have to take your medicine. You have to think, you know what? I've hit a bad shot. I'm in this bunker. I shouldn't be in it. I need to get out, give myself a chance of a two put to save a bogey. So, Similar stance, ball forward, club face open to present the loft, get, get myself a nice stable stance in there, and again, lower those hands. That's gonna make the loft point at target, and it's gonna give the nice neutral spin once we get out of there. The key here, once again, is plenty of speed and release the club down so that you do hit just behind the ball. That bounce is then gonna act like a hydrofoil through water and project the ball up in the air, just like that. You'll see we've actually hit that nicely up towards that flag. There are three different shots with three different clubs out of potentially one of the world's deepest bunkers here at Woolley Park Golf Club. If you struggle with bunkers, guys, that should help you get good at bunkers one day at a time. See you tomorrow.